Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be talking about one of the biggest transformations that we've made in this house so far. However, it was something that we did prior to starting our YouTube channel and documenting all of our renovations. So we're gonna take a look back and show you exactly how we designed our son's nursery. This is my absolute favorite room in this house, and we got to work on this pretty shortly after we moved in. We wanted Jameson to feel comfortable and at home and have the space feel somewhat familiar to him being surrounded by his things, but it was so completely different than his previous nursery when we moved in, so we knew that it was gonna be something that we would wanna tackle pretty quickly. So we moved him into one of the spare bedrooms for about a week to a week and a half and got to work. I'm going to show you a before picture and unfortunately I didn't take any pictures um, of the room empty so I'm going to show you the photo from the listing which is how it looked when we came to look at the house and I actually feel like that's a good way to kind of see how you can totally reimagine a space. It had carpet and the walls were like a bluish green color. Um, yeah, we did a just total overhaul on this room and it looks completely different now. So the first thing that we had to do was patch this giant hole in the wall and it backs up to the closet in the bedroom just next door. So I'm guessing that it was supposed to be a fort play area kind of thing or maybe for the kids to go back and forth, um, but it really served no purpose for us and it felt more of like a safety issue than anything. So we decided to go ahead and close that up and Basically what Luke did is he reframed the whole thing and then put a two by four down the center of the hole and that was what he was able to attach the drywall pieces to. And then of course, mudding, taping, sanding, more mudding and sanding. Once we had that part done, we were on to doing all of the crown molding and the decorative molding. So one of the cool things that we actually ended up doing was this decorative corner molding. And the reason we actually decided to do it was just because it was ornate and we liked the aesthetic of it. But a good tip here, if you are doing some type of crown molding and you don't have a miter saw, these are actually really great because um, you just do a straight cut along the edge instead of 45s. So it's actually easier to install and they weren't very expensive. So I would definitely say if you're doing a space and you love that like traditional look, these are a great addition and make the job so much easier. So once we were finished with all of the molding, we were ready to start painting. We ripped that carpet out of here and we definitely waited to do that until after we did the painting because we didn't want to have to worry about getting paint on the floors. So all in all, the original hardwood floors are in pretty good condition. They could absolutely use a sanding and refinishing and down the road we might get to that but for now they are looking pretty good. They're not bare wood. They still have some finish on them which is great. We were very happy that there were no large stains or any major damage to the floors. And after that, we got to get to the fun part, which was 
laying out the room, decorating the room, and I'm going to show you pictures of his previous nursery now. It was um, all white and basically had all of the same things that his nursery has now furniture-wise. We didn't purchase anything additional other than the bookcase that we have for him now. Obviously back then he didn't really need a whole bookcase. So the one thing that he doesn't have in this nursery that you'll notice that he had in his last one is this beautiful huge gold mirror that I had over his changing station. And this actually was in my original vision for this room. That's probably what fueled my idea for this black vocal wall because I wanted to center that mirror in the middle. Right before we moved everything back into the room that I realized that the layout was not going to work with the crib on any other wall or any other space in the room because of all the doorways, the closet, and the windows. So this was the only solid wall that we had to put the crib on. And I just could not get myself to hang that giant mirror over his crib for safety reasons. Um, I'm sure we could have anchored it in there and it would have been fine, but something inside just told me it wasn't a great idea. So we nixed the mirror on the wall and that mirror is literally just sitting on my floor and just waiting for a home. We're gonna find one at some point. So these prints ended up front and center over his crib instead of the mirror and I actually really love that they are such a big part of the focal wall now because when I was pregnant with Jameson I found this print of the fox and it inspired the entire design for the room so I feel it's only fitting that they have prime real estate. And while I wish that I had them in a little bit bigger of a size to make more of a statement, I think they look really cute here. And now I want to touch on just a few of the design elements that we were very intentional about when putting together his nursery, starting with this light fixture. As you can see, not only is this a chandelier, but it also has a retractable fan, which I think a fan is a necessity in any bedroom, but especially in a nursery, as research shows you can significantly reduce the risk of SIDS just by having a fan moving that airflow through the room. So this is a great option to keep that peace of mind, have that functionality, but also still have a really beautiful decorative element to the room. Up next is this bookshelf that I mentioned earlier. It is a wall mount bookshelf and has a cutout for your baseboards, which is nice. Um, it's very slender, so it fits great in a small space or as we have it right behind his door. Um, it does not get in the way at all. All of the books face out so he can easily see and access all of them. And this was a great price. I wanna say it was maybe around 70 or $80 in comparison with the other bookshelves I had seen. This was just a great deal. And I would say it's easily his favorite part of his bedroom. I highly recommend getting a dresser to use as a changing table and just getting a changing pad to put on top of it. So we have the Kikaru peanut changer, which we absolutely love. It's so easy to clean, uh, nice and heavy, so it feels very safe. And then once we're done, we'll just take that off of it and his dresser still fits in great with the design of his room. I will give you a quick look into his drawers here. They are not the cleanest, but we keep diapers, we have a little organizer here in the top drawer. I love that it had this small drawer on it. It is perfect for like all of the little things that we need for changing. We keep thermometers in here, diaper cream, lotion, aquaphor, all of the good things. Um, so this really is just a perfect little drawer. Go into this drawer and when I was researching nursery must-haves, I saw a ton of people talking about these little Ikea um, organizers, drawer organizers, and I absolutely love them. You get, the, you can get them in packs of different sizes. So, um, we've got some that are kind of longer like this and they have some that are bigger like so. So these are great. I definitely recommend as far as the bottom drawer goes, we keep extra diapers in here, wipes, just kind of all the extras and back stock is down here. I also highly recommend this Ubi diaper pail. It completely contains the smell and I haven't tried anything else, but it has worked very well for us. So I would recommend that as a nursery must have. And lastly, the Hatch Baby Rest Sound Machine. This is a must have. It is an excellent sound machine. It has several different sounds on it. 
Um, you can control it through an app on your phone. It's got different lights. And then as they get a little bit older, you can actually set up um, like a time to rise on it to where it'll change a certain color when they're allowed to get out of bed. Um, it's super lightweight. We have traveled with this before. We will not go anywhere without it. We love this thing. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed already and you enjoy home renovation, DIYs, interior design, old homes, we have it all here. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.